Hi, I'm Kinkas and I'm a synth DIY guy. A few weeks ago I got another box of goodies from my friends at Befaco. One of the kits inside was their new power solution for portable systems, the Lunch Power. So I decided to put together a travel system for my upcoming trip to California. I call it the Aquarium and it's my new favorite synth. The kit for the Lunch Power comes with everything you need. There's a single PCB which is both the PSU and the bus board. You also get the required components, like the 5V regulator, some diodes, resistors and LEDs, 14 boxed power headers, the power switch, a jack for an external switching wall wart, and the Meanwell 15W DC-DC converter. You also get a printed build guide. This is a very easy build. In fact, it can be a great first kit for a beginner to build, especially since a power supply is the very first thing you need to build a modular anyways. The instructions are very clear, make sure to read them carefully. Start with the power headers. They take quite a bit of heat and solder. Make sure you don't make any unwanted bridges. If you do, you can easily remove them with some desoldering braid. Don't forget to turn the board around and solder the other side too. Next, install the diodes, the resistor, the LEDs, and the 5V regulator. Install the switch and the power jack, or if you plan to use your own switch and jack mounted in your case, install the optional power input header. Finally, place and solder the DC-DC converter and you're done. Check for shorts, give it a careful visual inspection and turn it on. The toggle switch lights up, as do the three LEDs that indicate power is present in each of the three rails. Now, I'm not a carpenter, but I had some spare plywood and some rail scraps laying around, so I decided to build the case myself. I went to a shop nearby where they make aluminum windows and had them cut my rails precisely at 62 HP and the plywood in one 31.5 by 26 cm square and a long 8 cm wide piece. I had to cut that to size myself, making two 8 by 26 cm sides and the 33.5 by 8 cm top and bottom pieces. I then used some metal rail mounting brackets I had to mark the wood sides where I should drill for the rails. After drilling narrow holes for the screws, I used a larger bit to drill just a little bit into the box making room for the head of the screws, so they don't stick out of the box. I used some blank panels to hold the rail assemblies together and make sure everything was lining up. Then I glued all the pieces together as best I could and let it dry. Next, I placed the lunch power where I wanted it and marked where I should drill for the power button and the power input jack. Once everything was cut, drilled and glued together, I sanded the box and used some wood filler where needed. I then painted the box with a nice water-based blue paint.
Once that was dry, I applied many coats of matte finish. And that was it. I installed the rails and attached the PSU to the case with wood screws, lining it up with the holes I had made, and voila, the aquarium was born. The Maiden Patch was a cosmic ambience for a cartoon series I'm scoring. I then felt it needed a few more modules that wouldn't fit, so I took the frog leg PSU Pete Hartman gave me and quickly assembled a little companion skiff with a joystick, a multiple, a button and the rings. Finally, the DFAM joined the party to round out my new travel rig. I totally love my new music box. Having a compact system has really pushed me to focus and make the most out of a few modules. Limitation can be incredibly inspiring. Now, excuse me while I jam a while. Thanks for watching and stay noisy.